Oh my gosh, I am so late. Oh, I look so super duper bad. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna film right now. Welcome to the vlog. I made it to the appointment. Of course I was late, but I gotta skip all of the boring tax filing stuff. So that was fun. I think in the next two days we should be picking up a check for our advance refund. I don't know. Is it a loan? It's a loan. And now we're going to lunch at Chipotle. Chipotle. And I look like trash. Sorry I'm playing with my hair. Now it's like really soft. I did at least leave the house by brushing my teeth and brushing my hair. I has I just had it. I can't even speak. I wonder if he wants to give me money now so I can go to Ulta and buy some makeup. I'm sure that is exactly what he wants to do. I need to go to the Y and exercise. You know what? My brain is all over the place. I have not had coffee yet today. I have iced coffee, but it's like 20 degrees outside, so I don't really want to drink it. It's also not very good because it's just black. Um, and I like black coffee, but I like hot black coffee. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. My ADHD is all over the place. So I'm gonna go eat lunch with my husband. So bye. Hi, welcome to my bed. Um, I've been here since yesterday after Anthony and I went out for lunch. Uh, my herniated disc flared up and I've been in an incredible amount of pain. So I've been in bed ever since like 1 p.m. yesterday and I can barely go to the bathroom, um, let alone go downstairs. And I'm supposed to go away this weekend for my anniversary celebration with Anthony and I don't even know how I'm supposed to do that. So that's what's going on. I am incredibly frustrated. This happened last month. It's part of one of the reasons why I didn't film anything was because I got the stomach flu. And then while having the stomach flu, I ended up flaring up my herniated disc. Um, thank you to puking. And yeah, I spent, I think four or five days in bed, but thankfully I do have a doctor's appointment today in less than four hours. My dad's gonna come pick me up because there is no way I'm gonna be able to drive. So he's gonna come pick me up and I have to go to my doctor's appointment so she can prescribe me some muscle relaxers and hopefully I can get back on my feet and get back to life and moving and living and other things. Uh, before long. I have no idea how I'm supposed to go celebrate mine and Anthony's 13 year wedding anniversary with my back like this. Ah, it sucks. But yeah, so I'm in bed and I'm going to stay in bed at least until 4.15 and then I'm going to make my way to the doctor and probably end up back in bed. So this vlog is going to be super high quality content uh yeah so i just left the doctor's office and my doctor is going to deal with my back evidently when you're in pain and you have a herniated disc you're supposed to go to the doctor and deal with it and not just sit at home and pretend like it's going to go away on its own who knew <laughs> so she's gonna prescribe me Flexerol and some kind of anti-seizure medication that I think she called Gavin Pin, and I don't think that's what it actually was but she said that it will help with my anxiety and something else but it will also make me cause weight gain and possible weight gain water retention po possible water retention that can cause weight gain Okay, all I have to do is look at a steroid, and I gain weight and retain water. So if it's but she said the a big symptom thing with it is it helps on a day to day basis with any of the nerve issues. That's what it was associated with the herniated disc. That's what it was. Well, and I was in so much pain because my back just spasms and she was like, can you bend over? Can you climb up on this? And can you lay down and lift your leg? And I was like, bitch. 
but she, so she's gonna give me Flexerol, Naproxen for the pain, and then I swear she called it Gavin Pen, which I'm pretty sure that's not what it was, but yeah, and so that's supposed to be for the longevity of it or something. And then I get to do physical therapy, so yay! I feel like a very old woman. What are you doing? <laughs> What's that look? Okay, well we're home so we can get money and then go buy drugs. <laughs> I guess I should also say that she's sending me to a referral for my IUD, you guys. I will link the video, but I still have an IUD in my system. It's been in my system for almost 11 years. And it was supposedly taken out four years ago, five years ago. I don't know. Go watch the video. Check it out. It's very irritating and frustrating. But she's actually going to send me to a gynecologist again to see if somebody, anybody, will take out the IUD so that I don't have, what does she call it? A foreign body? <laughs> a foreign object attached to your body. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Now we're going to go buy drugs. It is... 324 and I haven't eaten yet today so I brought a bag of cookie crisp to munch on because I'm an adult. I have so much to do today. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. After I went to the doctor and got my muscle relaxers and my naproxen, both of them just put me to sleep and I slept all day. So today, actually, in 35 minutes, Anthony and I are supposed to be in the car on our way to Indianapolis to stay the weekend at the Omni for anniversary. And I'm not ready. I don't have anything packed. I have stuff that I still need to get from the store. Yeah, so I'm doing great. I am doing a video right now for a new foundation that I'm testing. It is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass All Day Wear. So look out for that video. This might go up before that. That might go up before this. But I'm wanting to do more beauty type videos on my channel and I needed new foundation. So I thought why not give it a try. I bet you guys will never guess what two stores I'm on my way to right now. Granted, I have a couple other places to go, but these two stores are definitely the top of my list. If you guessed that one of the two stores that I'm going to was Ulta, then you guessed correctly. And what sucks is I was actually going in to find something for Anthony, couldn't find what I was looking for, and I ended up buying stuff for myself. I'm not wild about this lipstick. It feels like it's not drying. It's very sticky and it's very wet. It's the ColourPop, I think, Fresh Cut, Fresh Petals, Freshly Cut, something like that, but it's an ultra matte liquid lipstick. I don't feel like it's ultra matte and it definitely doesn't dry down. It's more like a satiny. But so what I got at Ulta, oh gross, I don't know if you guys can see that. But it looks like there's like little worms in it. It's by Physicians Formula. And it's like, I don't know, a 24 karat collagen enhancer. It's supposed to be something that you put on before your makeup and moisturize and plump your skin. So I don't know, I thought it was cool, but it is just so weird looking. Ugh, I don't know. Then I got Black Epic Ink eyeliner by NYX. I've tried this before. If you guys watched my video, it was a big flop. However, I really think that it was doomed from the get-go. Um, I've never had an eyeliner do what this eyeliner did to my face, so I'm giving it a second try. That's what I got so far. And the girl in there commented on my eyeshadow, which I was really happy about. Which this is actually the Jaclyn Hill palette, the big one. Not like the little mini ones, but the big palette. Um, that I used for the very first time and I loved it. Everything else on my face is unique. Except for my lipstick. That's ColourPop. Alright, now I'm at my second store, which <laughs> you know it's Target. I don't even have to tell you. You know where I'm at. It's where I go all the time. 
my mothership. I am so freaking excited. If you guys remember my video during Vlogmas where I went shopping for a Christmas outfit, oh, that sun is so bright. I couldn't find jeans, I couldn't find anything to fit. Everything that I tried on just looked horrible, felt horrible. My self-esteem, my body image were in the gutter. Well, I just went to Target and seriously got two pairs of pants, a bra, two shirts. Well, I tried on multiple shirts plus a jacket. And I will tell you, everything fit. Everything fit. I just feel so good. I found a bra that makes my boobs look awesome. I found a pair of jeans, a pair of leggings, two shirts, and a jacket. Like, I'll show you everything. Not tonight. Like, I might show you at the hotel. I don't know. Okay, I'm heading home. So I will pack and get out of Kokomo as soon as possible. I swear, I am the biggest overpacker. So these are the bags that we're taking to the hotel. Granted, we're only going to be there tonight, Saturday night, and then we're coming back on Sunday at some point. So that bag there is Anthony's. And then I have one, two, three bags. That one has clothes. That one has like my makeup, shower stuff, whatever other accessories, my computer, my la or my laptop, my tablet, my editing software, my camera and jewelry are all in that bag. Then I have a shoe box with shoes, my camera, um, or not my camera, my purse, my glasses, my ring light, a light stand. And despite packing still all of this, I feel like I'm still forgetting something and I don't know what it could possibly be. <laughs> hey you guys, okay, so we're at the Omni and they upgraded our room to a prestige suite. I'm so excited. But <laughs> because I have crippling anxiety with, oh, this is so sketchy. Because I have crippling anxiety with going up elevators and escalators, <sighs> this feels like something that I would get murdered in. Uh, but, so I have to go up to the ninth floor. <sighs> I'm only on the third and I'm already feeling it. Anthony's gonna go up the elevator. But I can't go up elevators or escalators or anything else that's scary and that might fall to sudden death. I mean, this literally looks like somewhere <laughs> that you would get murdered in. <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> God save me. <laughs> Don't let me die. Oh, I'm too old for this shit. Oh, just kill me now. I need to stop and breathe. Hallelujah. I made it to the ninth floor. I'm in the hotel room and it seems pretty gorgeous. I'll show you guys what I have. I'm just waiting on Anthony. Okay, so first of all, this is the bed area. So there's the big screen TV. There's this hallway with all of the storage. Honestly, that's where we put our stuff. And then there's clearly the bed, but there's this view of the city. There's Lucas Oil Stadium, you guys. Ooh, we can spy on people. Like, what's going on in your room? Okay, so that is Union Station across from us. And it used to be a train station, but now it is a hotel. There's Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous view. Our bed is sexy. I can't wait to put my back on it. It sounds so sexual, but like really I'm old. Bathroom, nothing, you know, shower, toilet, sink, mirror. Oh, oh, ooh, it's the city. All right, so this is the living area. There's a love seat slash couch, TV, chair, and then there's constantly just windows everywhere. 
those little squares in that bottom, those are the banners. Okay, so there's the field house. <coughs> Why am I having a hard time breathing? Probably because you went up nine flights. I of did stairs. just go up nine flights of stairs. Anthony! Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy 13 years. Woo! That's all you got, really? Woo! Guess what? You're stuck with me for another 113 years. I'm game. You're game? <laughs> this is literally the most comfortable bed ever. I am so happy. I could live here. I could live here. Good morning vlog. Oh, that's terrible lighting. That's okay. It is. Oh, I almost fell on the stairs. You know what? I'll see you guys later. Okay, so that's the front lobby. And this is like an upstairs like lobby. See, it's so pretty. Who is this guy? <laughs> it's Anthony <laughs> when he doesn't cut his hair. I want that. Do you think that I can sneak that into a bag? Did they remove the piano? Yeah, I definitely don't feel good enough to stay here. I'm so glad they upgraded our room to you call it the prestige suite. I want that chandelier in my house. It's 10 a.m. We just walked up the nine flights of stairs and I'm pretty sure both of us died. However, it's really bright and really sunny so I wanted to show you guys what the room actually looks like because I tried to show you guys last night and it was dark and it just wasn't happening. So there's the bed. What is it, a king size? Yeah. King size bed and I love our view. It's so, so pretty. This is what I was trying to show you yesterday. So there's Lucas Oil. Then there's Union Station, and I don't know, it's just so pretty, because you can see the whole city. Out this window, it's just the other part of the building. Oh, there's a rainbow! We got woken up this morning by this marathon that's going on, the 500 Festival, festival I can't even speak, Myler series. There were all these people down here with loudspeakers and all this commotion. I thought that there was a protest or we were getting robbed or the world was coming to an end. There's the back of Anthony's head. But so we have like a sitting room. I'm trying to see what our view is on this side. There is um, the, the field house where the Pacers play. So we're gonna go there later today to see the Pacers. But I don't know, it's just really cool. Oh, isn't that that one bar that your sister likes so much? What is it, Ike and Jonesy's? Yeah. That's right. It's just, it's so pretty. And we even have a balcony. <clears throat> Let me show you guys the balcony. So yeah, I don't know, it's really cool. I absolutely love this. Um, we're having fun so far. There's a Starbucks attached to the hotel and we already went down there and got coffee and we're gonna get ready. This door is so heavy. But yeah, we're gonna get ready and I don't know what we're doing today. Do we have any plans? No. The only plan we have is to go to the pastry game tonight and I gotta fix my hair because it looks disgusting. So. Yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. Hi friends. I uh, I did not vlog at all yesterday. Well, I think I vlogged a little bit. I might have a couple of clips, but I kind of forgot to get out my camera, which I think is totally fine because I was really busy like enjoying the moment, but we had so much fun. What all did we do? We went to the movies and we saw well, the new movie Prodigy. Yeah, we went to lunch. Oh, we went to lunch too. Oh, we went to um the old spaghetti factory. And then we went to the movie. Well, we walked around the mall for a long time and went shopping. And then we went to see Prodigy. And then after that, what did we do after that? We just went back up to the, we hotel. To the hotel. To get ready for the game. And I took a nap, <laughs> a power nap. Yeah. And then we went to the Pacer game, which they won. 
they played against uh, Cleveland, and I forget what the score was, but we won like by what? We won by like close to 20. I think it was close to 20 points. Um, then we went to. Yeah. Then we ended up meeting some friends at Kilroy's, and then we ended up going to Taps and Dolls. Yeah, it was a blast. I had so much fun this weekend, but we've already checked out of the hotel and um, are all packed up back into the truck and are heading toward Kokomo, but I think we're gonna stop either in Castleton or Westfield, possibly both, and we definitely need to get lunch because I am starving. So that's all we've done. Uh, I feel like this vlog is gonna be kind of boring because I didn't vlog anything that we were doing yesterday. I'm gonna flip the camera in just a minute, but it is snowing. And yesterday we didn't have any snow. It was cold, but no snow. And what, we've got to have like an inch, yeah, at least two inches. It's only been raining or snowing for about two hours. Yeah, so there's the snow. There was no snow yesterday. And now, lots of snow.